Hello, my name is Emma Riley and I'm with the Kentucky Department of Education, KDE. I serve as a transition coordinator with the Office of Special Education and Early Learning, OSEEL. To successfully serve the children of Kentucky, we as an agency cannot work alone. For many years, the Department of Education has worked with outside vendors that deliver specialized services that the Department of Education does not provide. With my current role as a transition coordinator, my focus is on improving transition readiness for students with dual sensory losses, also referred to as deaf blindness. I collaborate with the Kentucky Deaf Blind Project, KDBP, the only vendor in the state of Kentucky that has expertise in deaf blindness. KDE, along with the Office of Special Education Programs, have been funding the Kentucky Deaf Blind Project for many years. The Kentucky Deaf Blind Project provides an array of services and trainings for professionals and families working with and raising children who are deaf blind from birth up to the age of 22. Students who are deaf blind face unique challenges. Without access to visual and audio trail information, one is deprived of their environment, language, and learning. But with proper intervention and services, we become the door to the world they have never seen or heard. As service providers, we must educate and train others so we can together as a team provide, serve, and support each and every deaf blind child so they can succeed. About 90% of deaf blind children have additional disabilities. Trying to prioritize which disability to focus on can be challenging when one has multiple. But it is important to take note on this. When you have a child who has both hearing and vision loss in your classroom, their deafness should be the first on the list. They need to learn language. They need to learn how to communicate. If you focus on their vision loss or any other disability, how will they learn if they do not know the language you are trying to teach them in? I cannot emphasize that enough. Without communication and language, one cannot learn. Other issues that we experience is oftentimes when a teacher selects multiple disabilities under the disability category for a child who has hearing and vision loss. The child may miss out on receiving specialized services. It is critical that teachers select every disability individually instead of selecting multiple disabilities. We at the Kentucky Department of Education and the Kentucky Deaf Blind Project are ready to support you. 
If you think you have a child with dual sensory loss in your classroom, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.